This woman can control metal at will. She is Magneto's daughter. Polaris, bullets, are useless against her. Even a fetus that accidentally moves, she could unleash her powers. The colleagues next to her were stunned. I'm sorry, the baby kicked me. In the evening Mary came over to comfort Polaris. She told her the special delivery room was complete. Sure enough the next day she felt like she was in labor. Jack rushed to take her to the special delivery room. But Polaris couldn't control her powers. Her co-workers helped her to the bed. The whole process was extremely difficult. Polaris exerted all her strength. The baby wouldn't come out. With the roar of pain and the roar of pain, the metal outside moved uncontrollably towards the delivery room. By this time Polaris had lost consciousness. The colleague next to her felt bad for a moment. If this continues, both mother and child's lives were in danger. At this point, the three sisters used their illusions. Their eyes glowed blue. Fond memories appeared in her mind. Polaris gradually regained consciousness. She began to focus on having a baby. With Mary's encouragement, she was seen exerting all her strength. That's when all the nearby power poles were destroyed. Then the power to the whole city went out. Unknowingly, people got out of their cars to check. And so, with a loud noise, Polaris gave birth to a daughter. That day Mary took everyone on a mission. But the baby was crying. She was running late. Lisa secretly gave the baby a mind-reading spell. The baby stopped crying immediately. Polaris had to give the baby to a colleague and got on the lift. It was her first post-baby mission. Polaris waved her hand. All the computers on the desk went down. What's even scarier is that. All the bullets were controlled as the enemy fired. Next Mary yelled out. The girl's hands were thrust. The solid steel box was instantly burst open. Just a few days earlier, she was using her powers at home. But something didn't look right to her parents. Then her father opened the door. Suddenly the secret service burst in with guns. The girl was scared. But when she saw the calm expression on her parents' faces, she instantly understood. She couldn't believe that she had been betrayed by her parents. The girl turned and tried to escape through the back door. But there were already guards on the premises. The Secret Service stepped in and subdued her. She was given a collar to inhibit her powers. The girl looked at her father in despair, but her father closed his eyes indifferently. Her name was Nancy, and she was a mutant. Fortunately, thanks to the rescue of Polaris, Nancy was successfully rescued. Although she was free, but she couldn't get over it. She won't talk to the outside world. To find out what happened to Nancy, three girls who could read her mind peeked into her memories. To find out what happened to her in prison. She had been tortured in prison. The three sisters are terrified. That day Jack came to Nancy's room. He performed his powers. I thought she would be happy to see it. But Nancy wasn't interested. Jack didn't give up. He said, why don't we go out to dinner? Nancy laughed. The two of them ate and talked. Nancy also showed Jack her powers. It turned out that her power was to turn things upside down. This surprised Jack. Nancy was finally happy too. Then two policemen came to give her a ticket. But Nancy wanted to have some fun. And then she used her powers with one hand. Then Jack used his powers too. The car exploded in place. Nancy burst out laughing at this. But Jack was stunned. Because what they didn't know was. The danger was slowly approaching. The man's hands suddenly went out of control. And Nancy immediately immediately went into training. That day Mary announced that she was going on a, a very dangerous mission. The group arrived at the secret service building. The security guard was about to raise his gun to stop them. The blonde girl gave out her powers. The guard immediately dropped his gun. And so they walked in unhindered. It turned out that their purpose was to, to steal the assets of the task force. With the cooperation of everyone, they managed to control everyone. Then Polaris came to the lift, with his hands sending out superpowers. Soon they found the entrance to the the vault. But the entrance was inaccessible. Nancy pushed her hands together. And so the mission was successfully completed. But just as everyone was about to leave, Nancy seemed to think of something. And her eyes changed instantly. So she didn't want to let these people go. She wanted revenge. But this action offended Mary. For Mary's lover was in the house just then. On the way back. Polaris blames Nancy, but Nancy had no intention of repenting, and so Nancy used her powers. She opened the car door and ran out, but Mary couldn't let her go so easily. She had her men pull up all the surveillance systems. In the end, Nancy was caught. She was then placed in a cage that inhibited her powers. Watching her suffer in there, Jack couldn't stand it anymore. She knew there was no way out for Nancy, so he secretly used his powers to rip open the cage. Just as Jack was about to take her away, Nancy had an evil thought in her mind. She wanted to get rid of all the mutants. The next moment, the lift opened. Before anyone could react, Nancy started attacking. Just at that moment of crisis, Jack knocks her out of the way. But it hit her right in the head. 